Idaho is one of the few states that taxes groceries, and the legislature has debated removing the tax for years, but has never been able to pass a law to ax the tax. Do you support repealing the sales tax on groceries or not, and why? Thank you. Um, I think a lot of people in the audience know my answer on this, but I'll tell you this. I support repealing the tax on groceries. I am the lead sponsor of House Bill 448, which would repeal the tax on groceries. We have six states that touch Idaho. Five of those states don't tax groceries at all. And we're talking Oregon and Washington, they don't tax groceries at all. Utah is the only surrounding state that taxes groceries and they do at a reduced rate. But for some reason, Idaho, supposedly conservative Idaho, taxes groceries fully. In fact, we're in the top five in terms of states in our taxes on groceries. We had a nearly $2 billion budget going into the last legislative session. Repealing the tax on groceries would have been $330 million of savings to Idaho families. But for some reason, the legislature could not get that done. Now, we have passed the repeal on the tax on groceries back in 2017, but it was vetoed by the governor at the 11th hour, actually at the 1 a.m. hour, it was after the deadline that the Supreme Court gave him a pass. I know there is will in the legislature to pass this. What's getting in the way are a few legislative leaders who don't want to give conservatives wins in an election year, and they actually said that. But I have a plan for getting the grocery tax repealed in Idaho in the next legislative session. Well thought out plan for getting it done, bringing all the legislators on board who are willing to do it. And in a year when we're electing new leadership in the legislature, we, we will be able to get this done. And here's the bonus. Because we have such huge budget surpluses in Idaho, we can do this without taking away the income tax credit. Families get the best of both worlds, an income tax credit and a repeal on the grocery tax. And exactly at a time when Biden inflation is crushing Idaho families, we shouldn't be satisfied with a $20 grocery tax credit coming two years from now. That's pathetic. We can do better and I'll do better. That's very bold. So I do not support repealing the grocery tax. And the version of events that Mr. Nate has laid out is mostly accurate, except for the fact that he skips over the part that if you repeal the grocery tax, and if you continue with the grocery tax credit, you essentially create a risk redistribution of income because you're pulling money from other revenues coming into the state in order to send out that grocery tax credit. Right now, the sales tax that is paid for on groceries comes in, and for every Idaho who files a tax return in the state of Idaho, they receive that grocery tax credit. That means tourists don't receive it, that means non-residents don't receive it, taxpayers receive it. So when we talk about other states who have grocery, who don't have grocery, uh, have the grocery tax, they also didn't go down the path of doing the grocery tax credit. We have a system that has a light touch. And what I mean by that is under Mr. Nate's bill, you would go to the grocery store and the only groceries that would be covered under this exemption would be those listed on the SNAP list provided by the federal government. I'm not sure how that qualifies for maintaining Idaho, Idaho sovereignty. Right now, you can go to the grocery store and you can buy the food that you see fit for your family, no questions asked by our state government, and you will receive that grocery tax credit. When we talk about this as a, as a zero-sum effort, that somehow just removing the grocery tax ultimately doesn't have to be answered for it in other ways, along with keeping uh, the, the tax credit going back to Idahoans, that's the part that gets glossed over, is that you're going to be taking tax dollars from somewhere else and disturbing a system that has worked really well and actually exhibits a light touch from government. All right, thank you. May I do a rebuttal? Yes, you may. Thank you. 30 seconds. All right, thanks. It is, it is not a light touch to take $330 million from Idaho families every year, hold on to it for up to a year, have them file their taxes to get a portion of it back. Some get more of it back than they deserve. It's a clunky system that hasn't worked well. And as far as tourists go, I would rather tourists have more money to spend on Idaho businesses, Idaho hotels, Idaho outfitters, than they have to send their money into Idaho government. I think that they are better stewards of it and our businesses would be happier with it too.